So hey everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do advanced scaling in Premiere Pro. Also do keep in mind that I am on 24 FPS so it may be different to you and also you will need the Sapphire plugin. Anyways, to get started, what you want to do is do the basic scale effect. So I'm going to click on toggle animation and then set it to 200 and then head over to the end, set it to whatever it was originally or 100. And then we're going to click on this little arrow, which will bring this down. Click on the last keyframe and then pull this little like bar, pull it to the left as much as you can, but also make sure that it is on the line next to it. So make sure it's on the line, not like above it or below. It has to be on the same level and then just go back to the first keyframe and then do the same thing so we're just going to pull this all the way back so then it creates this ramp at the beginning now you should get something like this now next up what you want to do is create an adjustment layer place it on top of your clip and then trim it to around three frames so one two three and then just trim it now you want to go into the effects panel and then search blur mo curves so it should be this one right here add it to your adjustment layer keyframe where it says z disk and then change the first keyframe to around 0.6 head over to the last keyframe and then set it to one and now you should get something like this what you can also do is add some exposure. So if we head over here to where it says Lumetri Color, click on that and then this should open up. Set the exposure to as high as possible or whatever you like. So I'm going to do five for now. And now we're going to keyframe it. So I'm going to head over to the effects controls and then just open it up. So I'm just going to keyframe exposure. I'm going to head five to 10 keyframes right. So one, two, and then I'm going to reset it to zero. We're going to do the same thing as we did before. I'm going to zoom in so it's easier to see. So yeah, just pull it to the left, make sure it's on the bar, do the same for the other side. and it should look like this. What you can also do is use some blur at the beginning and do the exact same thing as we did for exposure. But for this clip, I think it's more suitable if I don't use blur. Anyways, this is how it looked beforehand. And this is how it looks like now. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. So yeah, peace.